Hi there. What I'm here to show you today is this Action Tech setup. It's a coax network adapter kit. Um, what we got here is two Action Tech uh, units, and they'll work along with any other Action Tech router or wireless router uh, that's provided with the. Usually, it's provided as standard equipment with uh, Verizon FiOS. At least it is for me. <clears throat> And what it's going to do is uh, tap into the the stock FiOS Action Tech router, and uh, I'm on the second floor here, so we're going to hook it up, up through my coaxial port that I have coming out here in my second office that I'm trying to get established here, up on the second floor in this room here. And uh, so my wife's going to be using this office. I've got one downstairs, and all we have is a coaxial coming off of this rear uh, wall here behind the desk. And what uh, what's cool about this is you also have uh, a network port uh, coming off of this. And I'm going to plug in her new multifunction printer here, which uh, says built-in networking. So when I plug it in to the network port here on this adapter, uh, I should be wired in through to my wireless router downstairs so that we can share this printer. So right now I'm going to test the speed that we have right now because what I'm using uh, for the moment and I'm going to see which is going to be better for her up here. I've got this wireless uh, network adapter from Cisco here. We're getting pretty good speed. I'm going to test it here. I'm going to go to speed test on the internet here and, and do a test before with this wireless and then when we have it uh, wired in here um, we'll see notice it's only got one network port so I'm gonna have a, uh, a network switch uh, hooked up so I can have both the printer and her computer wired in through coaxial so let me do the speed test first figured I'd go ahead and show you what we get included in this uh, package your installation guide these two Action Tech coax units. A couple network cords. And it even comes with some coax cables, a couple of those. And this looks like it's the power adapter. Each one has a power adapter. That's good. And it comes with this uh, splitter for coaxial. You'll want to use a splitter if you're hooking your TV up to this also. So you want to come in from the wall. If you had a TV, for instance, come in from the wall to here. And then you'll take one of these splits and take it to your TV uh, cable box and the other one to this uh, Action Tech unit. Uh, that way your signal doesn't get scrambled going to your DVR box. It'll go in there separate. Okay, I'll go ahead and hook this stuff up. I'm just going to hook up one unit right now up here. Okay, I'm ready to be begin the test. We're at speedtest.net and uh, I'm going to go ahead and click it. See what this comes up with. It's checking the download speed now. It's pretty fair speed considering it's wireless right now on the second floor. And upload speed. So that's pretty decent too. And there you have it. We had a download speed, 
17.97 upload speed 24.95 so let me hook this thing up and we'll compare our speeds we'll go from there okay I've got our action tech unit hooked up our mocha adapter I've got one network cable coming out of here going into the back of our computer and uh, the coaxial cable is going into the wall back here and coming into here and then our power adapter and we've got green lights power ethernet and coaxial all green and it only took me a couple minutes to hook this thing up and when I hooked it up I saw my uh, toolbar down at the bottom lower bottom was uh, active acquiring a network address and sure enough I was able to refresh and here we are back on the speed test so pardon my shaking I'm gonna go ahead and uh, begin the test again so we can compare our speeds we were working with a wireless unit by Cisco and now we're running our network over coaxial cable Okay, 20.47. Our download speed before over wireless was 17.97, I believe. And now our upload speed. I can tell we've got higher numbers already, so it looks like uh, I'm going to keep the Mocha adapters. So, there you go, 20.47. 31.45 upload speed we're connected through cable now coaxial cable that is and instead of network cable and so that's pretty neat it works without having uh, to run network cable through the walls of your house and uh, so I'm happy with it let me know what you think thanks for watching